So, with the second part of the Splatastic Rematch review cancelled, I was trying to figure out of a way to make up for it in a certain way. In my own particular way, I mean. So, I looked through YouTube, and I was trying to figure out what to talk about. That's when I found this one particular video. So I was looking around YouTube, and out of curiosity, I wanted to see if Brian Jackson had uploaded anything. So I went onto the search bar to go find Brian Jackson's channel, and that's when I noticed a particular video he made recently. And so I watched it, and to be expected, it was... <sighs> Not that good. So I figured I might as well talk about it now, and before we actually begin, I want to personally say that this video might be the last video that I make on Brian Jackson. No promises, but I'm hoping for it. So without further ado, let's talk about Brian Jackson's speech video. Hey everyone, Brian Jackson here, and I have a very serious announcement to make. Very serious. Now I know you guys seen the latest video that Joxit made about my behavior, my lack of not taking criticism, and the mistakes that I made in 2019, and the dispute that I had with Skylar. Now I know y'all must be thinking, how could he? How could he do such a thing? At this point, I'm not really that surprised. I thought he changed. Brian Jackson lied to us. I thought he changed. Apparently he didn't. He never changed. I made a mistake giving him a second chance. I trusted him and he lied to our faces. Once again. He's still the same from 2019. Well, I've come here to explain and correct some errors during to the video that I just saw. Well, go ahead and explain yourself. Let's see how well this gets. Yes. I made those mistakes back in 2019, and I regret my argument with Skylar. And I know my animation style is shitty, and I admit that. And I admit I tend to get a bit overreactive. <laughs> you think? And I know, sorry, it's not going to cut it, and I cannot apologize strongly enough for it. Considering what you did in the past... Yeah, a simple apology isn't exactly going to do well in this situation. I admit all the horrible mistakes that I did. And I've been regretting them ever since 2019. I've regretted two years ago, and I still regret them on this very day. I'm seeing a pattern here. A lot of these people that do these apology stuff end up being... Really fishy. Am I the only one that actually sees this? I know what y'all be thinking. I've become a disrupted influence in the community. Well, more than you think, honestly. Well, to tell you the truth is, I don't blame y'all. I really don't. Maybe I have become a disruptive influence. I admit my flaws, my tendency to rush, Taking jokes, pranks, and roasts too personally. Ignoring my friends' warnings and concerns. My anger. My emotions controlling me. Not taking criticism. Making threats. Feeding the trolls. Fueling the fire. Etc. I think you forgot the pedophilia thing. There were times that I tend to get angry and lashing out at people. And I admit, I got anger issues. But I am struggling to control my emotions. It's not easy. And I apologize for causing y'all so much pain. And I am terribly sorry for all this drama that's been happening recently. I did say I will stay out of the drama. But no matter what happens, drama can't seem to let me go. Here's the thing. With what you have done, it's kind of hard to actually walk away from it. You can't expect to actually just, like, walk away and expect this to just blow over like that. That's not how it works. 
Especially if you do things like pedophilic behavior or faking your own death. That's when you really can't redeem yourself and your career is just over. It's like a cancer eating you up from the inside and it never stops. I think you meant demon. Now I know I said this many times and I'll say it again. 2019 was not a very good year for me. It was your downfall and it led to you basically being exposed for what you really are, dude. Seriously. You have no idea the pain, the hell, and the suffering that I've been through. So he's playing the victim card, trying to make it seem like he's being attacked. I guess it's to be expected, especially since we're talking about Brian Jackson here. During the last two years, I've been living with guilt and regret. During those times, I have been suffering from post-traumatic stress. PTSD. You're saying you've been suffering from PTSD. I don't think you understand how PTSD works. If you search on Google, PTSD is a disorder in which a person has difficulty recovering after experiencing or witnessing a terrifying event. Like if you got into a car crash, or witnessed a death, or if you've been sexually assaulted. So unless you have experienced any of that kind of stuff, you're using this as a way to get attention. And that's just as bad as when you faked your own death. And was suffocating. The painful memories keep eating me alive. I'm barely eating. I'm not getting enough rest. I was suffering every day because of those painful memories. And again with the sympathy card. My actions, my mistakes, my guilt. I've been living with regret every day ever since I got called out and get downfall by people. And whose fault was that exactly? Yours, that's whose. Every day, you're waking up feeling depressed. You're suffering through depression. All this serious pressure weighing on your very conscience. There are people that have dealt with a lot worse than you have, BJ. Let me be honest. No, you are not suffering through depression. You're just upset because we don't want to see you the way you want us to see you as. And that's just sad. And that is what I'm feeling right now. Every day I'm having panic attacks. My mind is not in the right place. Every day I'm getting yelled at. Getting notifications by people. Accusing me that I never changed. It's not accusing you if they can back it up. And in this instance, they can back it up. No matter how many times I tell everyone, they just don't seem to care. They don't care of what I've been through. And that's a shame. It's not that we don't care. Again, with what you did, you can't really be redeemed. Plus, with what you quote-unquote been through, is just a way to get sympathy and to make it seem like we're the bad guys when we're not. I'm being called out for the mistakes that I did. Honest mistakes that I made two years ago. Honest mistakes? No. What you did was a major mistake, and some things were even criminal as well. So let me explain this to everyone. I'm not the same person that I was two years ago. <gasps> I'm sorry, I'm allergic to the bullshit. My actions in the past were in the past. I've done many things that I'm not proud of. And I'm still not proud of it. And I don't deserve to relive those painful memories that occurred. BJ, if there's one thing that I've learned from the loot house incident, it's that certain things that you've done in the past can still affect you into the future. Especially with how bad your occasions were. It was two years ago in the past that I did those things. But that's not me. Not anymore. And I made it clear to y'all in the previous video. 
God, how many people took that video well, BJ? I don't deserve to relive this kind of hell. I really don't. And now everyone is slowly turning against me and accusing me. And that's not a good thing. For the past couple of months, I have never once act out. Not once. And I've always been on my good behavior. And some people will tell you different. But will you listen? No. And I did reconcile with Skylar. I really did. Yes, I had several up and downs. But they were not as bad as 2019 was. They're still as bad, partner. They're still as bad. And there were times I can be defensive and overly dramatic. You don't say! And I regret my petty reactions. But I am doing my best. Like I said, I'm not the person that I used to be. You know, as soon as he says that, he ends up doing exactly what he did last time. Trust me, after this video, he's more than likely gonna go crazy. I have gone through some changes, and my friends have been helping me improve on my behavior and my emotions. And I am a different person, whether you choose to believe it or not. I honestly don't. But it's the truth, and that's a fact. Unless you can actually show it, it's not really a fact, now is it? I am a changed person, and I'm slowly working on myself. I still am. And I'm still struggling with my flaws. I got my brothers and my friends to help me with that. Your so-called brothers? The same brothers that deleted your channel after you quote-unquote committed suicide? Those brothers? Wherever you choose to believe it or not, I have changed. Like I said before, I don't do those stuff anymore. And what I did was two years ago. It's old news. Old drama. Again, depending on the situation, it can still affect you in the future. I regret making those mistakes every day of my life. And I'm not asking for your forgiveness. That's not why I'm here. I'm here because I want you all to understand of what I'm going through and understand my pain. Well, most of the stuff that you said you've gone through ain't exactly true. Do you think I like being miserable every day? No, of course not. And I simply don't want to get involved in drama every day. It's not good. It's not healthy either. We know it's not healthy, but dude, again, with the stuff that you did, you can't exactly escape it. What you did was unforgivable, and some things were even illegal. I don't need all this negative energy on my conscience. And I seriously been through enough already. And the last thing that I need you guys is to give me grief. I don't need to be tormented of the things that I did back in 2019. We aren't trying to torment you, BJ. I think at this point you're just trying to make stuff up. This has got to stop. Those who still have hate for me are continuing to live in the past just to give me grief. I'm not making this video because I'm stuck in the past. I'm making this video because how bad this video is. This has nothing to do with being stuck in the past. Hell, the videos that I did, the review videos, were never meant to attack you. The drama video I did was to make people aware of the kind of person you are. And I believe you fail to realize that. I don't need that! And I'm not excusing it either. I'm not a perfect human being. I'm not. And I've made lots of mistakes. But isn't that part of being human? We all make mistakes. There's a line when it comes to certain mistakes, BJ. And you made such a huge mistake to the point where you can't even be redeemed. You've made yourself into a horrible person. Everyone else does. Nobody's perfect. I don't understand. Why bring up the past? As a matter of fact, why continue living in the past? Again, we're not living in the past, BJ. The thing about it is, is that most of us have moved on 
after you left YouTube, Steam, and Discord. Until you came back. Some of us didn't want you back, considering the things that you did. I wasn't living in the past when I made those videos on you. I wasn't thinking about you all the frickin' time. Do y'all really hate me that much? Think about it. During the past two years, I have been through so many therapy sessions, and they've been helping me to move on for what happened. It wasn't easy, but I struggled to move on, and I have been doing that, successfully. It's not that we hate you. Some of us do, some of us don't. But a lot of us just don't like you for what you've done. Also, have you really been to therapy? We already know how Minilad went down. So, he more than likely might be making this up. I have moved on for what happened back in 2019. But ever since Jackson posted that video a couple of days back, I'm not feeling like myself again. And I'm going to tell you something. It took me almost two years to get over those horrible events. It took me a long time to move on. And now, I'm going to have trouble moving on from it again. Again, whose fault was it that this is happening? Is it the guy who wanted to give his opinion upon the situation, or was it the guy that started the situation to begin with? I think we all know. Everything was going so well. So good. I was doing okay. But the problem is, I'm not doing so good. Every day, I'm barely sleeping. I'm barely eating. I'm having panic attacks. You already said that. I'm under a lot of stress right now. Every day I'm getting notifications from people. And they're not the good kind. People are starting to lose trust in me. Thinking that I'm still doing those terrible acts. Well, you kind of are, and it was proven. So... Which I don't do anymore. Like I said before. It took me a long time to move on, and I'm not sure if I'm going to move on for what just happened. I really don't know. Well, that's kind of the problem here. Once again, it's kind of hard to move on, especially from a situation like this. Hell, the loot house incident is still a thing and still being talked about, and that's like a few years old now. Because of this, I'm going to have a hard time animating my upcoming videos. Yeah. Animating. And I know it's going to interfere with my business and my ability to stay focused. Do you really not know how to ignore certain things or just to not speak about certain things? Look, I'm sorry if my improvements are not good enough for y'all. I am struggling to improve on myself. And that's what I'm doing, but you guys are not making it easy for me. If I'm going to change successfully, then you guys need to give me some space and give me a chance to try without you guys looming over my shoulder because it's making me uncomfortable. We have. And you blew it. I don't like people looking over my shoulder like that. It's not cool. And living in the past is not cool either. I want to move on from that. Well, we do too. But you continuing on the shit that you've been doing ever since 2019 ain't exactly this making the situation any better. So, am I angry? No, I'm not. You say you're not angry, but the tone of the video kind of says otherwise. Am I disappointed? Yes, I am. Am I hurt? Yes, I'm also hurt. Do I have to point out the sympathy card again? And I'm certainly not lashing out, just to let y'all know. I'm not lashing out. I've worked too hard to get where I am today. And I'm not going to let my past actions and mistakes bring me down again. That's what they all say! Not going to happen. But there's an old saying, we learn from our mistakes. You haven't exactly learned that much. And we try to move on from those. So that way, it won't happen again. And quite frankly, I don't really care what other people say about me. 
Well, if you really don't care, then why did you make this video? You can choose to believe them or not. But I know that there are others that still care about me. And they want me to succeed. And I know in my heart that I will not let them down again. You already have, dude. You already have. Because I have friends that will help me succeed. And I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for them. And I thank them every day. And I do want to succeed. And like I said before, I don't care what the others think of me. Believe me or don't believe me, I am a different person. And I will do my hardest of the best of my abilities. And I don't care if they forgive me or not. Is it me or is he repeating himself over and over again? Because that's what I'm seeing. Plus, he'll do that and the next thing you know, boom, he goes back to what he was before. Now I'm repeating myself. But if you do, then I appreciate that. Even though I'm not asking for forgiveness. I just want y'all to understand of what I'm going through right now. Yeah, he's repeating himself. And how I feel. And I will do my hardest to work on my flaws. As I said again, I'll be more patient. I'll learn to control my anger and my emotions. And if there's criticism involved, I will take it. And I will not fuel the fire and feed the trolls. But seriously, it's time to put the past behind us and move forward. And that's what I want to do. I want to move forward, not looking back. And I want to move on from my painful memories. Again, then why did you make this video? It's going to take me another long time to get over them, but I'll manage. There's no need to bring out old drama. As I said before, we all make mistakes and we learn from them. And just like I said before, there's a line with these mistakes. Yours was a major one. And that's what I'm doing. Believe me or don't believe me, I have changed. And as I said again, I have not done anything wrong for the past couple of months. Please stop repeating yourself. You're making me repeat myself. And I want to continue good for the Splatoon community. I know I've said it before, but I'll say it again. My animation skills are not perfect, and I'm not trying to be perfect, and that's fine. It's okay. I understand if you don't like my videos. It's totally understandable. Some people like it, some don't. But sadly, I can't give everyone what they want. This is gonna have to deal with it and move on. So what you're saying is that if you don't like my animation style, then deal with it. That doesn't make it seem like you're going to improve on your stuff. If I'm going to make decent videos in the future, then I need to get a bigger, better, and stronger computer that will allow me to do decent animations. And my current computer is not strong enough to handle that animation equipment. Dude, you don't really need a good computer to get Vegas Pro. Hell, when I started doing Gmod animations, I started with a laptop. And Stop Motion Helper isn't exactly a big add-on on Gmod. Now, I can understand if it's the money problem that you're worried about, but you are aware that there's some things that you can get for free, right? Until I get a better computer, I'm stuck doing PowerPoint videos. I'm sorry, but that is something you guys are going to have to deal with. So you are saying that we have to deal with it. Nice job. Call it trash videos or shitty videos, I don't care. I don't make videos just because I want to improve on my animations. I want to make videos because I want to tell the story. The story is all that matters. Yes, that is true. The story does matter in an animation. You can have an animation where the animation style is bad, but the story is still good. However, you fail in both aspects. The stories aren't exactly that good, and you failed to realize that. Another thing I want to explain, as much as the story is important in an animation, the animation style means just as much as the story. This is something that I looked up, and it says, 
An animation is important because it makes us be able to tell stories and communicate emotions and ideas in a unique, easy to perceive way that small children and adults can understand. So, in a way, improving your animations does matter. Not only to look pleasing to the audience's eye, but also to try and connect with them. And I love telling stories. And it's my passion. When I was growing up, I loved to tell stories. The stories is all that matters to me. That's why I wanted to make videos. I think all animators want to tell a story. But again, your stories aren't exactly that good. Like at all. Even though my animation is not perfect, I still love to tell amazing stories. And I want to continue fulfilling that dream. And if y'all don't like what I'm doing, then that's fine. That's your business. But all I'm saying is this. Stop living in the past and move on. And old drama shouldn't be relived. Again, nobody is living in the past. Some of us that have had a problem with you have moved on. And I don't care how many people intimidate me about this. I will not be intimidated. Intimidated. Those if they do, I will ignore them and I will block them, but I will not give in to my anger or my emotions, because I don't have time for people giving me grief. Well, you should have had that attitude when you started making videos, dude. You really should have. Those people that have grudges against me, I feel sorry for them. I'm sorry that they haven't moved on from my past actions and mistakes. And that's just sad. On some occasions, it is sad. But with you, the problem we have is that you really haven't changed all that much. That's been proven more than once. And it's a fact, not an insult. And I'm simply not playing the victim here, if that's what y'all thinking. I'm not. Well, from what I've talked about in this video, kind of says otherwise, partner. We can change. We all can, and I'm still doing my hardest to change, completely, but I know I've reformed, and I know I don't do those things anymore. I really doubt that, man. You really aren't showing it. Because if we don't move on and resolve our differences, then who the hell are we? We be fools, and I'm certainly not one, not anymore. It depends on the situation. Again. What you've done, we can't exactly move on that much from. So trust me, or don't trust me. But know this, I will succeed. And I will work on my flaws and my errors. And learning from my mistakes. As y'all will learn from your mistakes. Do I have to repeat myself again? Like every other human being on this earth. So let's stop this nonsense together and move forward. It's time to move forward. Again, with what you have done and what you have said, you can't exactly move forward the way you want to move forward. You still did what you did, and that can still affect you to this day. I don't want to live in the past anymore, and neither should you. It's time we get out of the drama and start being neutral before all this happened. Easier said than done. I know I'm better than this. We're all better than this. But if you feel on what I'm feeling right now, then that's good. If not, then that's fine too. Not everyone's going to forgive me. And that's fine. As I said before, I'm not seeking forgiveness. I just want you all to understand and listen on what I have to say. And no, everything I told you was not lies and bullshit, so don't get any ideas. Too late, I can already tell this is bullshit, dude. I don't have the energy for it. There's an old saying, actions speak louder than words. And your actions in the past speak louder than your words now. And it looks like I'm gonna have to prove myself. So please, give me some space and give me a chance to improve myself to you. Again, it's too late for that now. You've already ruined your reputation and you can't really get out of this the way you think you can. 
That's all I ask. And I will not let this Brian Jackson drama stop me from succeeding. I will succeed, even if it takes a very long time. And quite frankly, it's going to be a while. Um, you think? But I will do my best. Thank you everyone for watching my video and support. I wouldn't have done it and been here if it wasn't for the love and support of my dear friends. You guys are amazing. And I hope my video speech will help you understand of the pain and suffering that I went through. Hit the like button if you already like this and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. This is Brian Jackson II, signing out. <sighs>
At the time of this recording, there are people literally in the comments section defending BJ even though he did all those things that he did. I'm honestly surprised that the people that actually watched that video, a lot of them didn't really see through the bull. But at the same time, it's to be expected since we're talking about BJ and the people that actually watch him. Not all of them, but a lot of his fans just don't really see through it. I don't know why BJ is resulting to lying to protect his pride, but there are some people that do see through it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, which I doubt because I can imagine that there's probably a lot of people that are going to go crazy in the comments section. But if you liked the video, please be sure to give it a like, and if you want to see more content from me, be sure to hit the subscribe button, and also to click on the bell to get my notifications. Until then, please remember that what you hear isn't always the truth, and some people will probably say the same in my video in the comments. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, I'll see y'all.